2021. This is a video about my research experience and interests. My research experience included setting each future in misconception by constraining, adapting object detection, interactive camera calibration system, hyperspectral data per steps, and having metal companion version from remote sensing. First, image remote sensing image filter. We aim to use a high spatial resolution technology image and a low resolution multispectral image to get a high resolution and multispectral image. I propose two methods. First, Poisson fusion. How to do it? First, double the multispectral image as hard boundary conditions. Then, interpolate the, in, the objective image under the gradient guidance of the panchromatic image. At last, we can achieve the objective image. It can be formulated as the minimization problem with the hard boundary conditions, and its solution is the portion equation. We can decretize it and solve these linear equations. Second, portion fusion. It also has the panchromatic gradient as, gui as guidance field, but this time the multispectral image is induced as soft as J. That is, it requires the objective image a similar color uh, with the multispectral image after it degraded its resolution. Just now the second term in the minimization, this is the gradient plus J. Then we can solve it with this linear equation by single adjustments. Here is the fusion example with different method. From right to left, the result becomes better. The optimal fusion is fast. It can improve the spatial details significantly and preserve the multispectral color regardless the two fusing original fusion image have different spectral range. Second, image composition by constraining responses to filters. It provides a uniform framework to a variety of image composition paths. For example, we want to achieve an attractive image with the same object in the first picture and similar texture in the second Im image. Then how to, how to get it? We can constrain it through this minimization equation. <laughs> F is the objective image, H is the First picture, then we require them to have similar, have the same response after future by gradient operators. Similarly, the texture we can constrain with future filter, uh, uh, gable filters. Then we waited them to achieve the optimal result and got the objective image with texture transfer. I have verified it in many experiments, including polarization, seamless tiling, test mirror transfer, and normalized data set illumination, multi focus image filter. The third part is abandoned object detection. We aim to detect abandoned bandwidth videos. Mm. It is based on low level features. First, we extract several abandoned bad features including pistol variance over time, edge variance over time, bad color model, edge intensity score, foreground completeness, and histogram contrast with respect to surrounding background. For background for bad color model, it is defined as hypothesis testing with respect to typical false alarms, that is ground, walls, and vegetation. An edge intensity score is defined as KL divergence of the edge intensity between the suspected force and the whole image. Mm. For the above features, we assemble them to construct a generative model. For each feature, its probability distribution 
is defined as this formula. In fact, its not ratio with, with respect to the negative distribution is fitted by the Simoy function. And this is the result, regression result from Simoy function. You can see that it is good. They are all good because their large errors only happen in the positions with very few samples. We saw some detection results. We have tested it in nearly 30 videos and we get a trim very good result with very low false alarms and nearly no missing detection. The four part uh, interactive camera calibration. We aim to build a calibration and surface annotation tool for surveillance. This system allows users to use a pedestrian as a calibration pose and allow them to refine it by adjusting the parallel lines, vertical lines, and principal point. Then we can achieve the camera parameters. With the camera parameters, we can reconstruct the major surface, including the ground and the walls. And we can render them in three dimensions. The fifth part is hyperspectral data process. First, hyper process hyperspectral curve layer on the ground, including some preprocessing and feature extraction. For example, we can extract some a, a, a social feature after the continual removal. Second, I analyze hyperspectral images, including classification, recognition, and mystical decomposition. For example, recognize the parenthesis in Hyperion and classify the vegetation by their red edge features. The state part is a heavy metal content immersion based on hyperspectral data. We aim to immerse the heavy metal content from hyperspectral curve mirror on the ground. We usually use single variable regression and multi variable regressions. In multi variable regressions, the most popular method is partial mean square. square. Mm. But the coefficient from the partial least square is not stable. So I filter in the with Gabor filter and achieve more stable, achieve stable real and more robust coefficient results. Mm, regress based on Miss Gaussian. Uh, it is well known that the classical linear regression is based on the assumption of a Gaussian error. But in fact, when noises are large, the Gaussian error doesn't hold. So I fit the actual error distribution with mixture of Gaussian distributions and constrain the mixture Gaussian distri distributions with same mean values. Then I find the regression parameter with maximum likelihood estimation and CM algorithm. Here is the result of the regression. You can see that the mixed Gaussian can fit the error result very well. Now comes the final part. It's about my interests. My interests include the most sensitive image process, object detection, classification, and spatial statistics. And I believe that my strong background in pattern recognition will help me achieve success in remote sensing. Thank you for your attention.